us not into temptation, Lord. God tempts no one. Well, I mean, he tests people, right? So what's the difference between being tested and being tempted? I mean, God tested Abraham by having him sacrifice Isaac, right? And don't you ever feel bad for Ishmael there because God says your son, your only son, Isaac, and Ishmael's like in the corner going, what about me? And it doesn't matter because no one likes you, Ishmael. I don't know, probably someone liked him, but obviously God didn't because he said sacrifice Isaac, your only son. That's a side topic. There's another video in there somewhere. But God tested Abraham. God tests us. He tested Job and people like that. So what's the difference between being tested and being tempted? Well, it's hard to tell the difference. It's hard to see the difference. But the basic difference is being tested is to strengthen you. To, and to be strengthened means to be weakened. It means to realize you, you, you can't handle it yourself. That you, you do need Christ because he is the escape out of it. That's being tested. Being tempted is to abandon, to forsake. And God never does that for you. He never does that to you. He'll discipline, he'll test, he'll prune, but he won't tempt. He doesn't put things in your way to make you stumble and fall and fall out of his good graces. He won't do that. He does not do that to you. And he will not do that to you. And we pray in this petition that he deliver us from the temptation of the devil, the world, and our own sinful flesh. These things that don't want us to hallow God's name or let his kingdom come. So we pray for that deliverance. And God does. How? By actually going through the temptations himself. Jesus did it for you. He was tempted for you, overcame for you, died for you, rose for you, and now comes to you in the flesh and blood of your pastor who absolves you in the stead of Christ. And says you're forgiven for succumbing to that temptation. You are free. So be at peace, my friends. You're going to keep being tested. You're going to keep being tempted. In the temptations, you are forgiven. And in the tests, God will give you the endurance you need that he may carry you through this valley of sorrow to himself in heaven. God bless y'all.